Eurodance is a genre of electronic music that originated in the late 1980s in Europe. It combines many elements of techno, high energy, house music and Euro disco. Eurodance production continues to evolve with a more modernized style that incorporates elements from electro music. This genre of music is heavily influenced by the use of rich melodic vocals, either exclusively by itself or inclusively with rapped verses. This, combined with cutting-edge synthesizer, strong bass rhythm and melodic hooks, establishes the core foundation of Eurodance music. It peaked at Ibiza's summer festivals of 1994 in Spain and its intense popularity then spread around the world, which carried on into late 1997. Definition The term Eurodance gradually became associated with a specific style of European dance music. During its golden years in the mid-1990s, it was referred as Euro NRG. In Europe it was often called dance floor, or simply dance. While some use a much broader definition of what is considered Eurodance over time, the term particularly came to refer to an NRG-based genre from the 1990s which included a solo vocalist or a rapper vocalist duet. Eurodance is nightclub-oriented music that is usually produced somewhere in Europe and had a commercial enough sound to be played by radio stations and music television. Some of the more prominent Eurodance songs go international, especially if an act manages to score more than one hit. Characteristics of the music Most Eurodance is characterized by synthesizer riffs, one or more female or male vocals with simple chorus, one or more male or female rap parts, sampling and a strong beat, sometimes with female or male vocals singing throughout the whole song without rap. Vocals Eurodance is often very positive and upbeat, the lyrics often involve issues of love and peace, dancing and partying, or expressing and overcoming difficult emotions. The early mid-1990s Eurodance vocals were frequently done by a solo vocalist or a mixed rapper vocalist duet. Many groups use variations of the rapper vocalist theme, such as a German rapper with American singers or the use of reggae rappers in Ice MC and Fun Factory, or scat singing as in Scatman John. Solo singing artists such as Alexia, Tess, Whitfield and W also contributed to the genre. Eurodance lyrics are almost always sung in English, regardless of the artist's nationalities. Percussion Almost all Eurodance emphasizes percussion and rhythm. Eurodance percussion is generally a kick bass drum with some variations on a four-quarters time signature. While the percussion is always done by synthesizers, it is a sound more typical of dance music and not the beatbox sound typical of rap music. The tempo is typically around 140 beats per minute, but may vary from 110 to 150. Melody Most Eurodance is very melody-driven. Unlike most pop music, which is usually written in major keys, most Eurodance songs are in minor keys, similarly to techno. This, along with positive lyrics, helps contribute to the overall powerful and emotional sound of Eurodance. Besides the contribution of the female or male vocals, there is often a noticeable use of rapid synthesizer arpeggios, similar to trance music. But unlike trance arpeggios, they are usually more repetitive. The synthesizer often has a piano or barrel organ but sometimes mimics other instruments, such as calliope. There is often a short, repetitive ostinator riff, while other times there is a whole tour de force of synthesizers. Characteristics of the bands and business Eurodance is widely commercialized. Some producers, like Max Martin or Larry Pignagnoli, have managed dozens of bands. From thousands of records released, only a few bands have existed in the mainstream beyond two records. Many acts, such as Captain Jack and Johnny Jacobsen, had a carefully planned humorous image. 
a group called Erotic received attention with sexually provocative lyrics and music videos, while Eurodance singles regularly went to gold, platinum or multi-platinum status. It had been more difficult to get a full-length album to get to the same level of success. Typical problems cited include the album as a whole not up to the strength of the singles, the performers not being charismatic enough to hold the attention of millions of people past a song or two, or weak promotion of the remainder of the album after the singles have become in hits. History Original Eurodance is a fusion of several styles of dance music, primarily house and hip-hop with the high energy variant of Euro disco music. High NRG and Italo Disco High NRG started in the United Kingdom and United States as an underground, faster form of disco after disco had lost mainstream popularity. In the late 1980s, it became associated with British record producers Stock, Aitken and Waterman, and by the early 1990s, bands such as Masterboy and Two Unlimited were producing a continental version of high NRG. Eurodance shows a strong high NRG influence, such as the high tempo and strong use of female vocals. Eurodance can also be seen as a more technologically advanced form of Eurodisco, just as high NRG is the more technologically advanced form of disco. Italo Disco and its later evolution, Eurobeat, are sometimes thought to be subgenres of Eurodance, but rather they are offshoots of the European version of high NRG, called Space Disco. Italo Disco was influential on the production of Eurodance in general, while Italian produced Eurodance artists, such as Alexia, Capella, CO, Ro and W, tended to preserve features such as operatic female vocals. Later artists such as Eiffel 65 adopted a sort of marching beat in their productions. The term Eurobeat appears to be more common in Japan, where this style of music is featured in the video game Dance Dance Revolution, as well as in some anime soundtracks, for example the street racing scenes in Initial D. House music House music, an underground genre in the United States, was first mainstream in Europe, even though it had initially come from the US to the UK and continental Europe with the rise of acid house and rave house in the late 1980s. By the early 1990s, with the rise of the Belgian new beat, house then became associated with Belgium and the Netherlands. Some of the first songs with elements of what would later be called Eurodance are house music. Songs such as, Seaman and Get My Love by D-Mob, Strike It Up, by Black Box, 3AM, Eternal, by The KLF and, Get Ready For This, by 2 Unlimited all have the duet characteristic of Eurodance, and, Everybody's Free, by Rosella has the characteristic synthesizer riff. Hip-hop music rap verses has been one of the main distinguishing elements of Eurodance. While Eurodance makes use of rap vocals, it does not contain the lyrical themes of gangster rap, nor does it follow many of the instrumental conventions of rap music, such as turntable scratching or heavy bass lines. It does, however, focus on dance ability similar to funk music which was a critical basis to the hip-hop genre, since many songs from that genre were sampled by hip-hop artists. Eurodance has, however, served to popularize rap music in Europe. While rap had been made in Europe at least as far back as Falco's Einzelhaft album, the American variety only gained a more widespread acceptance when Technotronic landed their hit, Pump Up the Jam, and Snap scored the hit single, The Power. The combination of house music with rap vocals in general came to be referred to as hip house or house rap. Reggae in the early 1990s blending elements of reggae also became a trend in Eurodance music. The origin was All That She Wants by Ace of Bass. The success of this song led to others such as Coco Jambu by Mr. 
President, Sex on the Beach, by Teaspoon, Sweet Sweet Smile, by Tatjana, It's My Life, by Dr. Albin, Ole Ole Singen, Ole Ola, by Roller Girl, We're Going to Ibiza, by Venga Boys and Fat Boy, by Max A. Million. 2000s techno always had an important influence on Eurodance music, which at times was basically its more commercial counterpart. Contemporarily to the rise of the second generation of Eurodance artists in the late 1990s and early 2000s, trance began to take more influence from Eurodance as well, and, by 2006, it started slowly losing popularity as quality releases declined. The interest in Eurodance reignited in the late 2000s, and this time the comeback was largely helped by interests through music and video websites which includes significant support from media sharing and online networking sites. Such groups as Basic Element, Alcazar, Scooter, Ian Vandal, Milk Inc., Mert Seeds Club, Infernal, Special D, Groove Coverage, Santa Maria, Cascada, Silver, Danny J, Eiffel 65, Roxy, and solo artists such as Madonna, Kate Ryan, Luca Zita, Gabri Pont, DJ Alligator, Marnie Svavarsen, Lucas Prater and Ozone, are represent some of the most successful of the second generation of Eurodance artists. Most of them have released hit singles or albums stateside. Some US-based musicians are now heavily influenced by Eurodance, most prominently Lady Gaga and Rihanna. 2010s is dance pop returned to prominence in America in 2009 and 2010, many songs borrowed elements from Eurodance. Katy Perry's 2013 song, Walking on Air, was styled in Eurodance and became a commercial and critical success. In 2014, British DJ Route 94 released My Love with vocals by Jess Glynn, which was also styled in 90s Deep House. Romania is actually the biggest country that produces it. An example of a highly successful dance song from this country is Mr. Saxo Beat by Romanian artist Alexander Stan, which peaked at number one in over 20 countries. Popularity in Europe from the early to mid-1990s, Eurodance was highly popular in Europe due to extensive airplay given by radio stations and television shows, resulting in many singles appearing in the charts. For example, in Italy there were seven singles in the top ten of the chart at the end of May 1995. The popularity, which was similar to that of disco music in the mid to late 1970s, also led many non-Eurodance artists, such as Ivana Spagna, to create this type of music. By the late 1990s, the popularity of this genre had started to decline slowly. At this time, the classic Eurodance sound gradually morphed into Eurotrance, amongst other harder styles such as Hard House, New NRG and Machina. Today, Eurodance is generally an underground genre, and it does not receive airplay on mainstream radio. Australia Eurodance was popular in Australia in the early 1990s, particularly during the time of the emergence of warehouse parties and raves. Its popularity in the country waned in the late 1990s and early 2000s. However, the interest redeveloped around 2009 thanks to artists such as Melbourne DJ Havana Brown, who went on to achieve international success. North America, Canada Canada was a major Eurodance market, the largest outside Europe, which produced its own variant called Candence. From about 1992 to 2000, acts such as Capital Sound, Jack Hintha, Shauna Davis, MJ, Loving, Temperance, Jefferson, Project, Big Bass, DFS, Kim SD, The Boomtang Boys, Selena, Joe A, Roxy, and BKS among others, originating mainly in major cities of central Canada such as Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa were hitting the airwaves. 
the Toronto sound was more pop-oriented, while the Montreal one was more house-oriented. Eurodance received significant airplay on radio stations in the greater Toronto area such as Power 88.5, Energy 108 and Hot 103.5. Montreal was also a major Eurodance market, with MC Mario's famous radio show on Mix 96 called Party Mix, and Fuga de la, a popular TV show on Music Plus. By the late 1990s, the popularity of this genre was in decline. Today, Eurodance receives little airtime on Canadian radio stations, however Z103.5 plays the genre in rotation almost daily. Some nightclubs in the Toronto area have dedicated nights to this genre including the long-running Live to Air. On Z103.5, Way Back Wednesdays, plays this type of music since April 2002. Eurodance in Toronto is often referred to as nickname Euro or Gino Beats. By the early 2010s, some Montreal producers brought back the genre with cover of classic hits and original productions. Anthony Simons and Vito V made produced international hits with vocalist Anna Baradi. United States Eurodance is not well known in the United States outside of the major cities such as New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami, Houston, etc. Exemplifying this is the Eurodance classic, Scatman, by Scatman John. An American artist, despite topping the charts in multiple European countries, it only reached as high as number 60 in the Hot 100. A few Eurodance artists made the rhythmic Top 40, Top 40 mainstream and the Billboard Hot 100 during the early to mid-1990s. However, the sound tended to be more house and the rap-oriented artists received airplay. For instance, both the German hip-house project Snap and the Dutch techno dance project LA style received quite a bit of airplay early on. The more high-energy oriented artists were typically played only during special mixed shows and it was often necessary to go to a club to hear Eurodance music. While Eurodance did become popular with club DJs in the United States, radio stations were cautious about playing anything that sounded too much like disco during most of the 1980s and 1990s. By the end of the 1990s, however, some of the later acts such as Italian group Eiffel 65 and Danish group Aqua did receive extensive airplay. Despite lack of widespread radio play, many high-NRG and Eurodance songs are popular at professional sporting events in the United States, especially ice hockey and basketball. Compilation albums, such as the DMA Dance, Eurodance series of compilation albums from Interhit Records and Dance Music Authority magazine, were popular and helped to define the genre as well as to make it accessible in the US and Canada. The songs S&M and Only Girl by Barbadian singer Rihanna are strongly influenced by Eurodance music. Both songs peaked atop the Billboard Hot 100 in 2010 and 2011. In 2012, a large number of songs by American artists featured quintessential Eurodance elements. Examples are Chris Brown, Usher, Jennifer Lopez and others that traditionally attributed to more established American genres such as R&B, soul and pop. Obero America Eurodance was popular in Obero America during the early and mid-1990s, mainly in Brazil, Argentina, Chile and Mexico, XHFAJFM best known as Alpha 91.3, the top-rated radio station at the time in Mexico, played a format that included 60% Eurodance music. During the 1990s, Alpha 91.3 held an annual series of concerts at Palacio de los Deportes in Mexico City, including live performances of several Eurodance acts from all around the world, such as Alexia, Corona, Linda Thomas, Entrance, Colonia and KWS among many others. 
the most notable Eurodance acts in Spanish language who achieved massive success from the late 1980s to the mid-1990s in Iberoamerica were the retired musician Linda Thomas. She had a number of successful Eurodance and bubblegum dance singles during such period of time, including Gira K Gira, Blue Jeans, Bang Bang, Corazon, or Dial, and the Belgian Eurodance band Paradiso. This dance project topped the charts with hits such as Bailando or Vamos a la Discoteca. Other notable Eurodance hits in Spanish and Portuguese language in Iberoamerica were Duro de Pella by Rebecca, Streamline by Newton, Sex Machine by Katrina, Ritmo de la Anoche by the Sacados, Chicky Terry by the DJ Rafa Villalba, Fiesta de Respuma, Eclipse Total del Amor by Marianne, Mi Jesus Tanto Bian by Amastades Pelagrosas, Angel Boy by Sabrina Salerno, ASI Mi Gusta Amy by Chimo Bayer, Mi Visha Eris 2 by Venus, No Cambies by ASAP, USEI, 2S by Santa Maria, No Haggis El Indio. Hazel Cherokee, by Cherry Cocum, Loranda Porti, by KU, Minerva, among many others. Notable Eurodance artists. Some examples of Eurodance acts that emerged from the late 1980s until the mid-1990s are two brothers on the fourth floor, two Fabiola, two Unlimited, Ace of Bass, Alexia, Bad Boys Blue, Blue System, Capella, Captain Hollywood Project, Sentry, Colonia, Corona, Culture Beat, D-Monk, DJ Bobo. W, Dr. Albin, Erotic, E-Type, Electro Team, First Base, Fun Factory, Hadaway, Ice MC, Imperia, Indra, JK, La Bouche, Le Click, Lobby, Linda Thomas, Magic Affair, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, Master Boy, Max, Melody MC, Mr. President, Entrance, Nicky French, No Mercy, Pandora, Paradiso, Playa Hitty, Real McCoy, Scatman John, Snap, Technotronic, 24-7 and Whiffield. These bands included characteristics such as emphasis of the combo female chorus together with male rap performances leading directly to the duo revival. Each group featured their own signature sound, persona, visual imagery, vocal approach or a combination of any of the above. Solo artists who performed Eurodance include Amber and Hadaway. Rose Alla supported Michael Jackson during his European Dangerous tour. In 1994, Amber made history becoming the first singer in Eurodance history to be signed to a label as a solo artist, not a singer who is bound to a producer. Classification. After the early 1990s, Eurodance music had split into several categories. Classic Eurodance, as noted, often a female vocalist and a male rapper were used for songs within this genre. The music features thicker and more detailed production and sometimes is slightly slower than most Eurodance that appeared afterward. This sound features arrangements, production touches, synths, and bass lines unique to the early and mid-1990s and is strongly favoured by those who were fans of Eurodance during that time. Bubblegum dance, essentially the Danish Eurodance version of bubblegum pop, while the instrumental style is similar to classic Eurodance. The lyrics tend towards a tongue-in-cheek humour very different from typical disco lyrics. Topics tend to be such things as toys, cartoons or video games, with double entendres and fairy tale motifs. Bubblegum may use either a chorus or a male rapper, female singer duet, though it tends not to make use of American rappers as classic Eurodance does. Eurotrance has a more open-ended structure compared to the tightly knit vocals and melodies of classic Eurodance. The vocals are sometimes vague or repetitive without verse, chorus structure, often with echo and other effects. Often, Eurotrance has a strong synth line with ethereal chords and strong percussion.